work Cause what did I do? Like, been bad since me highs I'm who she ain't fucking with Has anybody ever made you squirt before? I make myself squirt all the time I was wondering if I could make you squirt How big are you? How big am I? It's crazy <laughs> Yo Shitting on bitches my hobby I be going dumb and I'm feeling euphoric <laughs> A fun fact about months that I don't think everybody knows Is I recorded it in my room And it took me like an hour You thought I was feeling you? No That nigga months. Oh Gosh. But my pops though, he gonna black I'm out his a baby bit. girl. He like, or like if I would tell him about girls that I didn't really f with in school, he would be like, write a rap about them. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me because he know that it's fat. Grab him up. Man, oh man, I gave in, y'all. Your boy gave in. I got way too many DMs and comments about this one, so let's talk about it, man. Shorty's name is Isis Nyjah Gaston or Gaston. I know she's Dominican, but her dad is black and her mom is Dominican. But anyways, better known as Ice Spice. And I'm sure y'all already know, she was born and raised in the Bronx, specifically Fordham Road. Her parents lived on the same block and actually first met at McDonald's. How was that growing up there? Like... It was real fun, like, you know, fighting off crackheads and shit like that. Oh God, <laughs> I dead ass wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for Fordham, no cap. I went to school in the Bronx up until like the end of middle school. And then my parents sent me to high school in Wyo. Oh yeah, 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 in Yonkers. Cause they thought it was gonna be like better than like, you know. Why, like was it just the school that you was going to originally was bad or? Um, I thought it was bad, but like, like, I probably would have been pregnant if I had, probably would have been had kids if I went to school in the Bronx, no cop. Her pops was an underground rapper, and yo, shout out to the Bronx. My Yankees play there and all that, but it's Brooklyn all day. But anyways, growing up, she was a regular Bronx girl whose favorite artists were Hove, Erica Badu, Romeo Santos, Drake, and most importantly for her, Nicki Minaj. She would write poetry and freestyle her raps from elementary to high school, and she used to type out lyrics in the notes section on her phone, listening to instrumentals and rapping out loud to them. She said that when she first saw Nicki, she was mesmerized. She was the first female rapper that she saw, and ever since then, she knew what she wanted to be. So the name Ice Spice actually came about when she was making a Finsta account. How did you get the name Ice Spice? So my name's Isis. Oh, Isis, okay. Yeah. So everybody calls me Ice like my whole life. But mm -hmm. I was really just trying to come up with a Finsta name in high school. So I was like 14 when I What's came up. What's the hell is Finsta? It's just like a fake Insta. Okay. It's like your private Insta. All right. I did not know that. But yeah. Finsta, okay. Mm -hmm. So I was like 14 and that's just, I was like, what rhymes with Ice? Spice. Wow. She ended up attending Purchase College, where she played back row on the school's volleyball team, but would end up dropping out around her sophomore year, saying that she left because she felt like she was in the wrong place. She first started rapping for real for real back in 2021 after she met the producer Riot USA while attending college. He produced her first song, Bully Freestyle. Damn, I'm on my bully. I do too much. I'm really that bitch, huh? Right after a video of her doing the Buss It Challenge went viral on Twitter. She got a music video too for a song called Been Bad that she ended up deleting. You see this fat ass on a TL starting shit. Glowed up and got a bad lost friends because of it. And of course, the thriller of our generation, No Clarity, dropped later that year. Bitch, I am the one, so how can I lose? Like. And it really started giving her more buzz. I know my boy John over at Everything Colossal, which you should subscribe to him, stop playing. We got our podcast over there, speaking of which. But yeah, he told me about her during this time when it dropped and I was just like, bruh, with a straight face. Like, yeah, it's cool. She's probably going to get on with her ass shaking like that if she gets more catchy songs and whatnot. She then went on to drop the music video for her song, Name of Love. Like... <laughs> Personally, I think the song is kind of trash, but hey, my opinion don't mean shit. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm not a fan of that Bronx drill shit in the first place. I think all that gah, gah shit is pretty trash, especially with all these little kids dying in the streets because of it. But that's a topic for another day. But yeah, she ended up dropping two more songs within this time, Be A Lady and Euphoric. Uh Water with ice in a cup. She got no ice with a cup. Cause she got lean in her cup. We go 
Black Winnie and Bobby that nigga Fina could tell you adore it. Which only really gave her more buzz. But her life would eventually change forever when she went and dropped her most famous song, Munch. Disgusting. This song would literally become an internet sensation, bruh. You couldn't avoid it, even if you wanted to. Parties were playing it, clubs, even certain DJs at concerts, and the whole crowd would boo the shit out of it, bro. Trust me. At least the concerts I went to, it was kind of embarrassing. I'm like, damn, they they really don't fuck with this shit. That's crazy. There was a whole big deal too when Drake followed her on the gram and then flew her out, and then he unfollowed her. I don't know, gossip shit. Honestly, I knew she was blowing up like crazy when I was at Rolling Loud New York and Fabio brought her out for that one song Munch. It seemed like she was a one chorus wonder where the crowd would just sing the chorus and be dead silent after that. In fact, it went kind of viral when she performed in Houston and everyone around her didn't give two shits. Houston was a tough crowd for ice climbing. <laughs> Yo, the comments though on this video got me weak. And then again in Toronto rolling loud where a DJ brought her out, which I saw too. It's exciting like to see how quickly like the song blew up for me is just crazy like I just feel blessed. Low key, I didn't think this would go as big as it did, but once I saw the snippet going crazy, then it kind of let me know like all right, it's probably going to blow up. Personally though, I think she's a dope person, bro. I've watched a bunch of her interviews and she really seems like such a chill, down to earth New York chick, for real for real. She ended up keeping her foot on the gas with the song Bikini Bottom and shut Times Square down, bruh. She had everyone going crazy at that shit. Oh my God, Ice Spice, let me smell your hair. <laughs> nah, but for real, she shut that shit down. It was around this time too when she signed her record deal with 10K Projects and Capitol Records. It's funny too because I think at first she was charging like 4,000 for an appearance, but then backed out of the performances she was booked for because she really started blowing up more and it increased to like 11K or something like that during that time. And I'm sure now she's probably charging a lot more. And then on January 20th of 2023, she would drop her first project. Like... Which ended up having the song Gangsta Boo on it with Lil TJ. You got a gangsta vibe, and I want a gangsta boo. Which debuted at number 82 on the Billboard charts. It was her first song appearing on there. And it also featured the song In Her Mood, which got a music video to it as well, with 19 million views on it as of today. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. A month later though, she went on to drop what I think is her best song to date, Boy's a Liar Part 2. It's catchy, it's going crazy. He said I'm good enough, got my third she needs to rap more on this style to me. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of that drill shit, same old flow, but this was admittingly fire. Her flow is gas, the beat is different. It's a dope track. Come on, man. Da -da 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 Oh, I gotta chill, bro. But yo, she's got some die-hard fans, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. When I went to Rolling Loud Cali not too long ago, yeah, I seen some real munches there for sure. I'm the biggest munch. 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 I'm the biggest
and she also got some real haters too though i can't believe y'all made her famous and i'm for real how do these people get famous her style bars and delivery are all lazy and ish was so god awful another person states i'm glad this ain't my generation no talent no talent at all just a voluptuous light-skinned lady who's singing vulgar lyrics no talent at all she's getting attention basically off of her putting herself out there in a very promiscuous way she's not talented like there's nothing special about the word she's saying it's just another female artist coming into the game selling her body and talking crazy it's nothing special about her i'm not hating i'm just saying we need more like talented female artists she's not talented she's up there twerking and holding the mic low energy just twerking she can't do nothing else but twerk they're like ah! That was a little much, bruh. I might say some of her music is booty cheeks, but damn, he's dragging it. And by the way, Pitchfork gave her project a 7.6, fam. Look, I respect Ice Spice and what she got going on, but ain't no way, bruh. No way this low EP is better than all of these projects. I think they rated Donda a 6 point. They gave Man on the... Oh. A 7.6? What did they rate this? The same as... Oh my god. Oh my. That, that's insane. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done. Pitchfork really off the meds, bro. Some people call her an industry plant, which I don't think she is. Some people love her, some people hate her. One thing that's undeniable though, is her popularity and her impact right now. Like, look at all this, bro. You got people dancing, looking like her. You got Kanye's daughter trying to be her. You got these blogs posting that she has more monthly listeners than all of your favorite artists. <laughs> like, bro, it's insane. And I know monthly listeners isn't really an accurate metric to go off of in terms of how many tickets you can actually sell for a show. But still, it's honestly wild to see those numbers she blew up so fast and is honestly the biggest female rapper in the world right now so yeah man shout out to ice spice i'm sure she's got a lot more in store for the remainder of this year and beyond and who knows where her career could take her man it's only up for her really let me know in the comments what's your favorite ice spice song man and are you a munch let me know fam <laughs> i'll check you guys in the next video peace <laughs>